Hey, hey, Spring Lafay, Simple Tarot. Okay, Aquarius, this is for you. I'm going to take one of these to begin with. I have pre shuffled uh, my cards, so you know, we'll just get right into it. There it is. Not for you. So if something's not for you, it's a number six. Um, it may not be time for something. You may feel like a door has closed to you and there's a reason. Don't try to open it. You know, if um, you feel rejected, sometimes rejection is God's protection. So, you know, it feels like fortune, the fortune is on your side. Don't try to force anything. Don't try to force anything. It's time to um, call a truce to something. There's something that's not for you. This has to do with someone. Um, you know, we got the devil card here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. But also, this could be, a, it's got a sense of, um, there's been something that's went down between you and someone else. There was some, some toxic energies involved in that. Um, it's not for you. Just let it go. Let it go. There's something better. Just call a truce and just be done with it. You know, let it go. There's something better for you. Um, Princess of Cups. Defeat. Oppression. Okay, you don't need to fall into this, this space of feeling defeated and feeling oppression and feeling ruin. And that's where I feel like you're letting yourself be taken is down this road of, okay, this didn't work, and now I'm going to just fall apart. No, you're not. What is not for you is not for you, and that's why you need to see it. We go 10 here, you know, and a 10 here. Something's completing, and it's going to involve change, number 5 here. Um, and you really need to let this change happen. It feels, you know, this change can be a good thing. Change is not always a bad thing. It can be a good thing. It can be a um, changing of energy, a changing of the way that you look at things, you know. So you've had your cup up. You've held your cup up. People have done you wrong or they have, um, you, you're, it's, you maybe you're looking at things wrong and you keep falling into the same pattern. Not for you. King of Wands reversed. So, there's a King of Wands reversed that's not for you. This is someone that may play games with you. They may like to play games with you. Um, this is a toxic relationship of sorts because I feel like it deals with your mind. It deals with uh, playing with your heart, playing with your emotions. That's how it feels like it's toxic. Truce. Truce. Okay, with truce, we have um, four of wands and two of swords. So, two of swords is about needing to make a decision about home and life. And honestly, it feels like just calling a truce between you and this person so that it makes brings peace into your home, peace into your mind, a peace of thinking, a, a peaceful way of looking at things. the devil okay we got ten of pentacles for the devil um, I feel like that this person may look at money with great satisfaction you know um, for some of you like I said you could be dealing with a Capricorn and that would explain that but not for all of you 
they look at this as you know money matters money does matter but to them whoever this is it's a really big deal okay aquarius and princess of cups because i feel like that is you that is you princess of cups king of swords okay so this tells me that you need to get out of your feelings and you need to look at this from a um, mind standpoint see things outside the box possibly look at this from a different angle not through your heart center defeat okay will of fortune things are about to change but it's for the better it's not for you know with will of fortune here that's about change and number five uh, defeat card so things are about to change things are about to really move along change may seem scary but it is needed it feels like oppression number 10 the fool um, and it's a new beginning you're starting a new journey a new chapter in your life and you need to, to start it with a good um, feeling not a bad one it feels like so, if you have something with the hermit being reversed, if you have something you need to heal, heal it. <sighs> I guess the going. Oh, you need to heal whatever needs to be healed because you're starting this new journey. You don't want to start it in a, this uh, place of feeling like, um, see, do you see how it's almost like, oh my goodness, you're trying to get me or you're yapping at my heels, that type of feeling. Um, yeah, really looking at things from a different standpoint and being able to see things differently because you've healed what you needed to heal. Therefore, you can go forward um, on your new journey with the fool and feel very happy and, and merry and be able to go forward in a different, um, different light. Okay, ruin. Okay, for ruin we got ten of swords. Um, but it is reversed. So you're going to come out of this. You just have to help yourself. You know, we got ruin here. Feeling like you, everything is um, ruined. Feeling like everything is just not, you know, going to change. I'm going to tell you, that's a bit of self um, bringing things into fruition that you really, do you really want things to not be able to change? What you think of, you're going to bring forward. So I would change the way that I think about things, just to be honest with you. Because you're starting a new chapter here. You don't want to go into it in a uh, bad light. You want to heal what needs to be healed. And um, let go of relationships that are no longer serving you, honestly. Work on what needs to be worked on. Do, the, do what you need to do for you. Yeah, because see, the empress is reversed. So that tells me that you have things you need to do for you. You need to see you for the beauty you are. Uh, you need to learn your worth and value. Whoever I'm talking to, you're not quite there. And I feel like it, it could have to do with uh, people walking away with the, that knight of cups on the bottom. You know, it's like really um, walking away from you. And this is someone from the past, Three of Cups. They really hurt you. They've done a number on you. Uh, they moved in quick with the Knight of Swords. They gave their cup, so to speak, with the Knight of Cups. And then they may have put you in a third-party situation and really broke your heart, causing you to have to look at the truth with the Ace of Swords there about, you know, how uh, when someone gives you their love, it seems to hurt. But no, it shouldn't hurt. It should not hurt, and that's the way you should see it. You shouldn't have to see getting a Two of Cups as hurting you. Do you see what I'm saying? They're showing it. True love should not be painful. Yeah. True love should not be painful. So, you know, you need to look at that was not true love, or it would have not hurt so much. So, true love shouldn't be painful. And, um, definitely, God's rejection, you know, I mean, is 
Okay, rejection is God's protection. That's that's for sure. If it's not for you, let it go. True love should not hurt you. It shouldn't hurt. You know, is there going to be issues or problems there? Yeah, they're sure. Everyone has them, but it shouldn't hurt you like that. So that's what I have for you. Um, if you like the content that Spirit allows me to share with you in these readings and the messages, give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. Much light and love to you. And till next time, bye.